Yes, guys, uh, we have been talking about the primitive types, but how do we identify the primitive types? So, um, the best way to identify the primitive types is with the um, type of operator. So, we use this type um, type of this an operator so we use this one to identify which one is a, pri a primitive type and which works on any variable and returns a string uh, indicating the types of, of data um, the, the type of operator works well with a string numbers booleans and undefined so let's say um, we did create um, the string of color and I may I may want to uh, to use console console dot log and then I'll use the type of operator type of operator and then I may just put the string let's say anything like um, a b c a b c and then if you enter you find it's giving you this is a string so this another way if you want to know which one uh, what what type of a primitive type you can use the type of operator to identify the the type I mean the type of the data you see so and the same apply if I apply apply this to numbers let's say 23 and then it's giving the number you see just like that is like that so we try again if you try and put let's say um, let's say um, for boolean I can use false so it's giving boolean and then even if I use I can use a un, undefined and then we see the type of undefined is undefined so um, as you might might expect type of uh, returns uh, string like I showed like I showed you here this one uh, when the value is like is a string or number when the value is uh, let's say when the number uh, the value is a number regardless of integer or floating uh, I mean floating uh, point values uh, so for example if I put let's say number is number if you put let's say type of uh, f maybe 7.0 then still you get a number so number doesn't really matter which whether it's a point it has point or it doesn't have point still it's it's a, it's a number and boolean as well when the value is boolean you see identify we have seen that also so but but the the trick part is let me clear this um, clear the, the console and but the, the trick part involves a null um, I think you you won't be the first person to be confused about the result we are going to get if we use let's say console uh, console dot log and then we check the type of null you see the type of null we are getting the object so um, myself uh, the first time I was a little bit surprised why why are we getting the object and we know the uh, null is among the primitive types that I said five of them if you haven't watched my video the first video I was talking about primitive types so the null it belongs to primitive types but when I try to check on using the console log types of null it's given object so this is um, uh, how can I say this it's it's like considered as uh, error um, 
this has been just in fact this has been like acknowledged uh, as a error by by I mean Java committee JavaScript committee I mean people who designed designed and maintained Java JavaScript um, so this you could reason that null is an empty object pointer they say or making an object or a logical return value but that's still confusing you know uh, but the first I mean the, the best way to determine if a value is null is to compare it against null direct like 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 this one let me show you something so we say like console dot log and then this say value I'm using the triple equal but I will come back to this tell you why and enter is giving me an error uh, but don't worry just because it doesn't understand it doesn't see uh, this value so what I have to do actually I made a mistake because what I have to do is that I have to, I, either I can just say var value you see that's this is the before you you need to uh, uh, give um, just like the error shows here the value is not uh, defined at the uh, this so it's that you have to create a variable before you can use it so if I do that and do this so you see the console log uh, uh, value is equal to null and it's giving me it's, it's false so so guys you I uh, have showed you how you could uh, identify the I identify the um, the the primitive types but the next um, tutorial I'm going to show you how to compare uh, uh, compare without uh, cohesion which is more of like how we use the single equal double equal and triple equal so we're gonna talk more about that in the coming video thank you and remember to subscribe and